Hello everybody, today what we are looking at is how to determine the gradient and the y-intercept for a graph in the form of our rules. So if we're given a rule or if we're given a graph to be able to identify the gradient, to be able to identify the y-intercept or to be able to write the rule straight from a graph. So we know that the rule for a straight line graph is given by this equation here, y equals mx plus c. So we're always going to have our y-axis, okay, equals to our gradient, okay, multiplied by our x-axis coordinate plus a number. And that number, if it's written in this form, is going to be our y-intercept. So if we are given a formula, we need to be able to identify what the gradient will be. And remember, gradient is the slope of the graph, so how steep our straight line graph is, and the y-intercept, which is where our graph cuts that y-axis. So we have this rule here, y equals 2x plus 3. So we have a y on the left-hand side equals a value multiplied by x plus or minus another value. So we can see here that this format is the exact same. Okay. So what I can now identify is that number that's written before X is going to be my gradient or my slope. And because it's a positive number, we know that my slope is going to be this way. So I can go over here and I can write my gradient or my M value is two. And the three on the end, okay, the constant on the end is going to be my y-intercept. So my y-intercept is therefore three. I'm going to write y-intercept. This one over here, y equals one third x take away four. Again, I'm going to check that it's written in the same format. y value x plus or minus value. Yes. So therefore, this one over here is my gradient. And this one over here is my y-intercept. So my gradient, we use m to define gradient, is going to be one third. And it's a positive gradient, so it's going to be going this way when I draw my graph. And my y-intercept at the end, there's a negative sign in front of it. So it is going to be negative four. So this is how we can identify the gradient and the y-intercept from the graph, the rule as long as the rule is written in this format. Here we're looking at finding the rule from a graph. Okay, so in order to find the rule from a graph, we need to figure out what our y-intercept is going to be. Okay, but we also need to figure out what our gradient is going to be. And in the last lesson, we learnt how to figure out this m value. So remember to figure out this m value, we take two points on the graph, which we've been given. We've been given the y-intercept as negative 1. So we know this point here is 0, negative 1. And we have been given another coordinate, which is 1, 3. So to figure out our gradient, remember we do rise over run. So how much is different in my y values and how much is different in my x values? So if I look, how far does it take for me to get to negative 1 up to my y value for this one is a 3. Okay, so how many points do I have to move from negative 1 to get to 3? I have to move 1 two, three, four points, because the difference between negative one and three is four. So my gradient, my rise is going to be three, divided by my run. So now I've got to look at my x coordinate. So how do I get from my x coordinate of zero to my x coordinate of one? So the difference between zero and one is one. So my gradient is going to be three over one, which is three divided by one, which is three. And my y-intercept where does my green line cross my y-axis? Well, it crosses it at the point negative one. So my y-intercept is negative one. So when I write down my rule, I write it in this format here. So y equals m, we figured out is three. So I'm gonna go three x, and then my y-intercept. My y-intercept is negative one, so I'm gonna write down negative one. And I've now been able to write down my rule for my graph. Let's have a look at another one. So again, gradient, and I'm just going to write up here our gradient formula so we remember it. So to figure out our gradient, we do 
our rise divided by run. If you are confused with this part, I would suggest that you look at the last video that I have, which is calculating gradient. So to calculate the gradient, we're going to do rise divided by run. So we have our two points, this point here. Remember, we write our x coordinate first, which is 2, 0. And this coordinate here, which is going to be 0, 4. So my rise, okay, I am rising from 0 to 4. So to go from 0 to 4 is going to be a 4 over my run, which is going from 0 to 2. 0 to 2 is 2. Now if I look at this graph, this graph is pointing in this direction, which means my gradient has to be negative. So my gradient, I'm going to put a negative at the front. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And my y-intercept is at 4. So if I need to convert it into this format over here, I'm going to go y equals, all right, y equals my gradient. My gradient is negative 2, so I'm going to write negative 2x. And then my y-intercept, which is a positive 4, so we're going to write plus 4. And this is now the rule for this graph over here. So what I would do once I've written the rule is check. Okay, so I said that my gradient is uh, positive and my line is pointing in this direction, which means my gradient is positive. For this one, I said my gradient is negative. The graph is pointing in this direction, so it's negative. And then I'll just check off my y-intercept. So my y-intercept was negative one, yes. And my y-intercept here was four, yes. So I've written that correctly. And of course, you can check whether your gradient is right as well by um, checking that off as well by doing the steps again. Um, over here, we have a vertical graph and we have a horizontal graph. So the rule for these is slightly different when we write them. It's a little bit easier. So here, I can see that my graph is crossing the x axis at the value 2. So when I write my formula, all I do is that it's crossing the x axis at, so equals to 2. And that is my formula for that one there. Okay. For one that is a vertical graph, sorry, a horizontal graph, I see that it's crossing the y axis this time. So I'm going to say y equals, and at what value is it crossing the y axis? It is crossing it at the number 2. So this one is going to be y equals to 2. Hopefully that made some sense. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer it. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.